Hello, hello, hello. This is Evan Rogers coming at you with Evan's Easy Japanese Skyrim. Oh my gosh, that thing's getting in the way. Skyrim. Kaji no Shutoku no Ryoku. The perks of blacksmithing. Because you want to be a blacksmith, don't you? Alright, quiz the flashcards. If you just click here, yoink, I already had them up, but might as well just show you how it works. You can get these amazingly awesome flashcards that'll tell you awesome words like Kou Tetsu, Steel. Tanzo Jutsu, the smithing technique that you're using. Etc., etc., etc. Yoroi, armor. Yay, is that exciting? Cool. I turned off the audio because I don't want that annoying voice going, Yoroi, and things like that. Excitement cubed. Click on some ads to give me a penny or two there. Apparently, I shop at Brooks Brothers. Apparently, metal farming machines. <laughs> Okay, so apparently because it sees metal on this page, it's talking about metal forming stuff. That's cool. Uh, donate to make me feel awesome and keep these videos rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, so let's go ahead and look at these exciting mega ultra perks for your Skyrim game. Cool, Tetsu no Tanzo Jutsu. Remember this pattern? That's all this because um, it's gonna come up a bajillion times. Kotetsu no Tanzo Jutsu, Kotetsu Steel no Tanzo Jutsu, so the, we just did those in the Quizlet. This is a uh, forging techniques of, of uh, steel, so the steel forging techniques, um, steel smithing techniques, same thing essentially. Kotetsu no Yoroi, steel armor, Yabuki, and things like uh, weapons, o sakse shi. Nidan kai no kyoka dekiru. Alright, so uh, nidan kai no kyoka dekiru. Dekiru means able to. Kyoka means strengthen and uh, reinforce buttress. Nidan kai uh, literally means, if you notice, there's a little asterisk right there. This nidan kai means two steps. It essentially means double in this case. However, it doesn't mean double the original armor value, it means double the normal reinforcement bonus. Uh, so it's like two steps amount, so to speak. So you're able to double the amount of reinforcing you're able to do. Uh, kyoka dekiru, nidan kai dekiru, sakse shi, uh, create, able to create. Notice how we have a shi there, that's the stem of shimas when you're writing. You can leave the te of the te form off, i.e. the uh, just the stem. Well, not the te of the te form, I should say just the stem, and that functions as the te form. These are basically two different sentences, uh, but they're connected. So, Kotetsu no Yoroi, Yabuki o Sakusei Shi, able to create um, steel armor and weapons. And this verb, since it's of the te form, is kind of a... Uh, if you just leave everything before this, it'll apply to this right here. Nidai kyo kotekiru, you can, uh, you can reinforce steel things double their normal amounts. You can make steel and armor weapons and reinforce them twofold. Okay, so now that we got that pretty cleared, unfortunately this one, this video is kind of boring. It's just the same thing over and over again. Dwarf no Tanzo Jutsu. Dwarf smithing techniques. Same thing, but with dwarf. Elf no Tanzo Jutsu. Same thing, but with uh, elven stuff. Ork no Tanzo Jutsu. Same thing, but with orcs. Here's a new one. Kodo no Tanzo Jutsu. Kodo means advanced to a to, uh, sort of how that means. Uh, this is the kanji for tall slash high and is the degree. High degree smithing techniques. Uh, underneath it we have Skeru preto no yoro yo sakse shi nidan kae o no kyoka dekiru. So, Skeru preto no yoro uh, scale and plate armors o you're able to create Nidan kai no kyoka dekiru. You're able to reinforce them double. If you click on these images, you can see the actual stuff that's written there. Um, this is actually essentially the same as the other ones. My mistake. I, I, I thought that was a different one. Here we go. Here's a new one. Maho kaji. Maho means magic. Kaji means uh, blacksmithing. So maho no buki ya yoroi o kyoka dekiru. Able to reinforce armor and weapons and things like armor and things like weapons that are magical 
you can reinforce magic weapons. So Maho, no Buki, we magical weapons, ya yeah, Yoroi, and armor, magic weapons and armor. Oh, Kyoko, they could reinforce, able to. Kokutan, no Tanzo Jutsu. Kokutan is uh, Ebony. So there you go. Same thing as the other ones. Hekisui Sho. I always want to say Jo on accident. It's Hekisui Sho. Uh, this literally means like a blue crystal. Um, however, in this situation, it's talking about the Skyrim glass armor. Um, anyway, Hekisui, Hekisui Sho no Tanzo Jutsu. Heki is basically means blue, Sui means water, and Sho is like crystalline mo mo -go, mojo. Anyway, uh, just glass armor able to make reinforce Daedra no Tanzo Jutsu able to do the same thing to Daedric stuff Dragon no Tanzo Jutsu same thing with dragons this is a pretty boring one uh, once you get the first few of them but they're not all going to be this way so anyway I hope that that helped you understand a little bit of what's going on and uh, you know at least at the very least it reinforced your understanding of the no particle the ya particle uh, gave a few new vocab words and Decudoom and things like that. Not too exciting here, but, you know, hopefully it helped you out. Have yourself a holly jolly week, and I'll be uploading more videos hopefully soon. See ya!